guys, so today is November empties. I love filming empties videos. It's very satisfying to go through things that I've used up in the month and then toss everything. So it'll be a bit of a mishmash. At the end, I'll leave it to the products which I am repurchasing or have repurchased already. And that will be sort of a wrap up of the best. Uh, but I'll start with uh, nail polish. I finished one nail polish this past month. This is China Glaze One Track Mind. This was in my project polish. If you're interested in watching project polish videos, I have some. So go ahead and head, head down there. But this guy is absolutely empty. Then we have a couple makeup things that I finished up. Uh, first and foremost, this is a primer by Yves Saint Laurent, Top Secrets Flash Radiance Skincare Brush. And this is a bridge between skincare and a primer. And it was very smoothing. I love the texture. I didn't mind the scent. It's scented like Yves Saint Laurent products are. And uh, I really enjoyed what it did. It was quite moisturizing, but unfortunately I hated the packaging because look at this. This is ridiculous. No, nobody should be doing this in terms of packaging. So because of the packaging, we'll not be repurchasing. A couple of mascaras that I'm probably not going to repurchase anytime soon. Definitely not this one. This is Estee Lauder Little Black Primer. This did nothing. So <laughs> then we have Yves Saint Laurent Fe Fossil uh, False Lash Effect Mascara. This is a like a OG holy grail for many people. OD but a goody sort of thing. It dries out very, very fast has a decent effect on the lashes, but there are just so many things I prefer more. I just have to say that the packaging is A plus on this. It's very, very pretty. It does give your lashes a really, really nice full effect. But uh, I mean, I just like other mascaras better than this one at this point. And the last makeup product is this powder by Burberry. And this one was about like dented slightly. And then I dropped it because I was sort of transferring it from my drawer of things that I have to the drawer of things that I need to get rid of anyway. And this is Fresh Glow Nude Radiance Number no. One Luminous Highlighting Powder. Um, this is really a blah product for me. It looked powdery on skin. It blended well, but it, it left this powdery, chalky residue. It was like slightly iridescent, but not really shimmery, and it looked like makeup. And quite frankly, I don't understand what the fuss is about with this one. I'm kind of happy it broke. I would have gladly passed it on, but it's a very, very soft product and it's very delicate. Um, sort of, no, <laughs> this is thumbs down actually. Didn't like it at all. Glad that it's not no longer with me. A couple of skincare things. A bath milk by The Body Shop. Almond milk and honey for sensitive dry skin uh, bath milk. This was a blah product as well. I used it up because I take baths and I love baths, uh, but I used it up and I, it was really unmemorable. Um, the scent wasn't that great. I mean, it was fine. Uh, the scent was actually agreeable, not fantastic, but agreeable, but uh, the effect was sort of nil. Um, any shower gel would produce the same effect. It was in particular really moisturizing. So I think I'll explore other bath products. Not mad at it, but eh. And then I, I've used up a small size of Aveeno Active Naturals Eczema Care Cream. I used it on my hands in the kitchen. This came in some kind of a set at some point. It's fine, nothing special. Moisturizing, but nothing special really. And I've used up the History of Faux Suwon Essence. This I have been using for months and months on end, simply because it's such a full size. It's 85 milliliters uh, of essence and you only need a small pump to cover your entire face. This was kind of like a serum essence uh, hybrid. Korean skincare is, is fantastic. I love Korean skincare and that was a really, really good one. So if I ever come across it, I'll definitely pick it up, but I won't seek it out. Either. I just want to try other serums. I thought that was excellent, very moisturizing, very basic serum. But uh, if I saw it again, I probably would purchase, but I won't, I won't go on a wild goose search trying to find it. Then a couple of fragrances I finished and this, I will do a separate fragrance video once I accumulate a few of these empty boxes or empty bottles. And this is the Guillain Terracotta I finished and just Sarah Jessica Parker Lovely I finished. And I, I'll go into a bit more details on whether I'll repurchase or not at a later time in a separate video once I accumulate a few of those empties. And I have a few that are going to run out pretty soon. Now to the products I either have repurchased or will repurchase. These are basically the stars of this show. Most of them I've already repurchased or this is not my first round with these products. 
So uh, hand cream by The Body Shop, this particular one is a pink grapefruit. I really like that they are doing these minis because they're very purse friendly. You can just toss them in, they're very easy to use. I've used multiples of these before. Um, this is not the most nourishing hand cream, but it does a very good job sinking in very fast. And I like using it throughout the day. I like it that they have a variety of scents to choose from. So this is moisturizing enough. This is not a hand therapy sort of cream, but it's good for maintenance. Another Body Shop product, there are a lot of Body Shop products here, obviously, is this Body Shop Body Butter. This is in a smaller size, but I always buy these. I've bought them for years. This is Shea Butter. Scent, one of my absolute favorites. I've had a perfume of this previously. It's lovely, it's moisturizing, it's spreadable, buttery. It's a good formula. I really like the formula of the Body Shop uh, Body Butters. I think they're worth a pick and also will make a really good present. Oh, I love this scent for winter. For summer, it's a bit too heavy for me, but they have such a variety of scents to choose from. You can find whatever you want in their scent range. So um, I already have repurchased this in a different scent. <laughs> so I'm already using actually one, an, another one in a different scent. Then we have uh, this Dior Lip Glow. If you know my channel, you know that I love this thing. And this is Dior Addict Lip Glow in the original color. I, will, I have repurchased this, this is not my first tube. I will definitely repurchase this in the future. It's my ideal packaging. It's sleek, it's cute. It feels weighty and it's expensive kind of plastic. If you know makeup, you can tell the difference by holding something, whether it's expensive or cheaply packaged. Um, regardless of the price tag, you can just, you feel it. And this is a nice expensive plastic packaging. I love this, it's very moisturizing, gives a slight tint to the lips. This is my favorite tint to the lip balm and I will buy it again at the next Sephora sale, maybe I'll get a couple. Then uh, a mascara that I actually would recommend and I have purchased this previously, this is my second tube and if I see it, I'll purchase it again and this is Rimmel Extra Wow Lash. If you see this one, it's pretty darn good mascara. It's not revolutionary, but it's really, really good and it stands up to some of, uh, some of my top picks from luxury brands um, and I like it way more than I like the Yves Saint Laurent one. This is actually better I think and it lasts longer and it doesn't flake. Uh, Yves Saint Laurent flaked very small amount but it's still flaked and this one didn't and this is drugstore. Mm -hmm. Then um, something I've repurchased already obviously because I have a huge collection or well to me it's a big collection of uh, the Bite Beauty lipsticks and I have them in multiple finishes. This is a creamy sort of lip pencil and I have finished it completely. This was my go-to this winter. It's a fantastic winter color. Winter Berry it's called. Go figure. Um, these are awesome. If you're looking for lip products to try or lip products to make your signatures, um, these are super comfortable, very pigmented, glide on nicely. They make your lip texture look much better. They're moisturizing at the same time, non-drying matte formulas are available. Just fantastic. Bite Beauty are fantastic for lipsticks. Can't vouch for any other products that they come up with, but lipsticks are awesome. And this was a limited edition shade, so I can't buy this particular one, but I've purchased multiple other shades. So I like it enough to repurchase for sure. And then another thing that I've been raving about for months, and this is Stila Field of Florals Convertible Color Dual Lip and Cheek Palette. If you have been to my channel, you've seen this. I used the crap out of it. You can see so many panned colors. Um, I love this. The only reason why I'm getting rid of it in the empties is because it's quite old and cream products, they shouldn't be sticking around for, for years. And this is about two years old. And I love this palette, love it. Um, I love the formula of convertible um, lip and cheek, cheek and lip, dual lip and cheek. Um, colors from, from Stila, I've purchased them multiple times before and finished them before. So this is not my first rodeo with these guys and I have repurchased a more recent palette from them. This guy was limited edition, so I can't buy it again. I would probably otherwise, um, just because you have every color you want for, for your cheeks here ever. But I've repurchased, or I, I have purchased this exact formula in a different array of shades in a palette already. So obviously I recommend you try those if you like cream cheek colors. So these are my beauty empties. There's quite a bit, there's quite a bit every month. I'm very adamant about finishing my stuff and I do stick to my project pants, so I do go through things. 
Um, and I kind of let me know if you like the format where in the end I let you know what I have repurchased or I would repurchase. And I think we'll leave the fragrance empties a little bit for a little bit later time just to, to have a separate place to talk about fragrances. I don't think they should be lumped in here very frequently. That's it for today. I hope it was fun for you to watch. See you guys later. Bye bye.